so here we are. We're going to make Fruit Ninja VR, virtual reality. First off, we'll design it, then we will code it, and then we'll test it on the Oculus Go. So you can see here on the class page, virtual reality coding one. Um, here's kind of a video that shows you what Fruit Ninja is. If you've never played the game before, we're going to make a table like that where I shoot a fruit out. We're going to use some assets we're going to load. Here's kind of the example of one of the rooms that we could make using a bunch of images, using um, text, and some of those assets. You can see we're going to have some swords, we're going to have some fruit, um, a bunch of different things. And here's all your requirements for the assignment. You can see I've listed all of these kind of out. Then I always give you your creativity project for you to add in some stuff. I want you to customize your room using another prefab that you can find. Also creating another unique object at the end of it. Again, you record it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and Unity. I'm going to call this Fruit Ninja VR. And we don't need statistics. 3D and go ahead and press create. To start out, we're going to need to download a couple assets. So let's go to the asset store. Let's search for a couple free things. We're going to do Japanese Zen Garden. Let's search for that. You can see this pack here, it's free. I'm going to go ahead and download that. So once we download it, we're going to go ahead and import. And again, this is free. Just go ahead and import all that. If you check in your project window, you can see here, and we can go to prefabs, and we have a lot of nice prefabs that we can use. The other one we're going to need is Fruit Pack. And it's this one here by Astro 3D. It's a free fruit pack where it has a couple different shapes you can do. And go ahead and import that one as well. And since the and you can see my fruit pack is here, and here are some of the fruits that we can use. And this one is pretty good because it has a whole and a half fruit, which we're playing Fruit Ninja. So it's a re really good free pack to use. All right, now, last one, we need some swords, right? So we're going to look for seven swords, another free pack that we could search for. And it's this one, again, free. As a teacher, we love free. We don't have money in classes to spend. So there we go. I'm going to download that one. And we'll import everything just like we did for the others. And let's go ahead and look at those as well. So you can see seven swords here. And I go to prefabs, and it has all the swords there. All right, so that's pretty much what we got. I'm going to add one more folder. I'm going to say images. And what I've done is on Google, I've just looked for a bunch of images, kind of some images related to Japan. Um, obviously, we need our friend here, our Fruit Ninja. So we're going to save this to that same folder. And you can see this is my Fruit Ninja Oh Man. And here's that folder, as you can see. I have a couple different images that I found that I'll use inside of the little VR room that we're going to use. So I'm going to grab all these and put it into my images folder here. So what I'm going to simply do is select that, hold shift, select that, and drag those into my images folder. So there we go. So now we have everything that we want to begin. Now let's go ahead and get started. Now that we have all our assets. First off, let's not save our scene, but let's save it as Fruit Ninja. There we go. And to start off, let's make our room. And remember, look how our room looks. 
And first we'll make a cube to kind of give us proportions. Um, we're going to delete the cube later. Um, then we'll do some planes, we'll pull in some of the assets, and we'll kind of decorate. Here I want you to use your creativity. It's all about creativity. I'm just giving you a guideline of what you should do. Like I need you to have some fruit baskets, and I need you to have some wood floors, um, and I need you to have you know swords somewhere, and maybe a rock garden. But then again, creativity. Make it your own. So let's go ahead and start. Start that out. Let's go ahead and create an empty object. We're going to call it room. Inside of that room, I'm going to go ahead and make a cube. And let's go ahead and scale that cube and make it 10 by 10 by 10. Not too big. Let's make it 10 by 5. It doesn't have to be that tall. All right, so you can see, if I go inside, I can't really see anything. So I'm going to go ahead and let's make a material. And I'm going to call it room color. Again, we're going to delete this cube at the end. This is just to kind of give us a kind of border or boundary. So let's say building color. And my building color make whatever I want so I just kind of happen to like that like I saw in the picture and I'm going to drag it on there now if I zoom in the middle you don't see it why it's because of the shader here so I'm going to click on standard I'm going to go to particles we're going to do standard surface what that does is it changes this and now I can do two-sided so now if I go on the inside it it makes us seem as if we're inside this cube. In actuality, you're not inside this cube because this cube is still solid. We're just looking like this. Again, this is a border. We're going to get rid of it later on um, because when we shoot our fruit, if we leave this cube, it's going to shoot actually from the top of the cube, not inside of the cube because this cube is still solid. All right, so here we go. We got that. So this is called this building All right and what else do we got we want to make a plane a 3d object make a plane and I want to go ahead and it should be for the room plane we're just going to call it floor and this is going to be my wood floor so my building I want to be up yeah right about there so that shape's good. All right, so for my plane, again, I want to um, have a wood floor. I did not download a wood floor. Very simple. Trusty Google wood floor. Actually, let's do wood floor texture. And you can choose any one. I happen to like this one. I'm going to save that. Wood floor texture. Wood floor texture. Now, once I drag it there, now I can drop it on there. And there we go. I could leave this like this, but I'm going to go ahead and scale that in. And we'll do another plane on the outside in the end and make some mountains. So, this will look like it's a fruit ninja area and some mountains. So, let's go ahead and scale this in. And it should be something like that. And getting closer. And this is where this Japanese Zen pack a basket. And I'm going to scale it down so it fits into my room. And let's see. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good. Let's. That's a good size. We'll. we'll Put it here and we'll move it over into the corner. All right. And what else can we do? Got a bunch of stuff. So let's drag in this. And I want this one to be over in this corner. So let's go ahead and drag that. There we go. Now, what else do we got? We got some pebbles. In the middle, we need our table. So I'm going to drag that out first. And let's scale our table down. We'll move it. 
and this would be like this. Let's make this 30. That works. And I'm going to make it 30 by 30. Uh, let's make it 30 by 20. There we go. So there we got our little table that we have. And this could be shorter. All right. So a little fruit table. And we got posts that we could put around it um, like this. And I kind of like that. So let's scale that down too. Again, this part is your creativity. This is just me playing around and throwing something together very simply. And let's see, what do I want to do with this? So I want to flip this around. So I'm going to rotate it on my X axis. Not my Y. Let's do my X axis 180. Oh, wrong. 180. Nope, wrong. It was another 90, right? Yep. And let's say 180. There we go. That's what we want. So I like this little fence with post. And what we want to do is scale this down. So it kind of looks like a like that. This is kind of like a table. And making sure, yeah, it's at the edge of the table. So there we go. And I'm just going to duplicate this guy and drag him over. And he'll be at this edge. And there we go. So like I like this, but I need to kind of stay organized. So I want to make another empty. I'm gonna call this table. I'm gonna put all my pieces of my table inside of there. So that is that. That is also my post. And there we go. So we can zoom out, and now I have my table. And again, you could play with a bunch of these different things. Um, for example, we have that. I could put some fruit in there, but I want to play with some of these. I'm going to drag this in. And you can see this is super big. So we're going to scale this down. And let's actually rotate it so it fits in a room. So let's see. These, that. There we go. And I kind of like this for the walls. So it looks like a portal into some place else. So we're going to put that here. And let's center it. So we'll have one there. And I could do the same thing on these walls. But let's do one of this. And let's see this guy. Now this is going to have to stay negative 90. Let's rotate you to negative 90. There you go. And let's scale you down. And let's move you. So we got you here. So I'll put this one on this wall like that, move this across, and let's duplicate this, and there we go. I like that. All right. And what else do we got? We got a bunch of pebbles, and we have kind of let's, let's make a little rock garden so you can see here let's drag these in and let's drag some other rocks 
We just kind of stack these. It's just kind of playing, right? There we go, got a nice little rock garden that you can kind of see. All right, room's coming along. This cannot be seen, so we'll pull you forward. All right, so behind this, I think it'll look pretty cool if we add in kind of a walkway. So I need to put a plane. So I'm going to, as you can see, I added all this stuff. I want to stay organized. I want to make another empty. I'm going to call it Rock Garden. And let's do all our rocks in a rock bowl inside of a rock garden. There we go. And that's good. These are my, let's call these doors. Doors. And I got these guys here. And this is my basket. And this is my, let's call that a door as well. And this is my basket. All right. So what I want to do for my door for this, I actually make a plane. So I add a 3D plane. Which one is it? Is it this one? Actually, it is this one. So, all right, where's my plane? My plane is here, and I want to move it. So you can see, that's there's my plane, but it's the opposite way, so I have to rotate that plane. So let's rotate it on the X, 80. Now if I come back inside, you can kind of see my plane there, right? What we're going to do is let's scale it in and let's scale it up. And let's scale it all the way in. So I'm gonna make it the width of the door like that. And let's move it down and see how that looks. So we'll do like that. And watch what happens when I kind of drag. So that looks like that, but that's why I downloaded these. Looks like it's a door. So really cool, simple effect, right? Looks like someone's walking out through that way and all I'm going to do is duplicate that <clears throat> I'll add that to my other door so my other door let's drag you all the way across and instead of rotating that we can rotate you back but you are upside down now so what do we want to do we want to Rotate you on the Y, 180 degrees, and we can put you right behind, and just change the picture. Let's change it to that one. So that one looks like you're going that way, that one looks like you're going that way, and I want one over here. It looks like you're going someplace else. So let's do one more duplicate. We'll pull that in, and this time let's rotate it 45 on the Z. Let's rotate it. Which way are we going? We're going so we're going to pull it over 
here. And I want to rotate this guy this way. So we're going 90. Double Z. Actually. All right, so we got you, and I go ahead and add a plane to you, and same deal. We want to pull you in, so we want you to come forward, keep coming, and we need to rotate you. So we need to rotate you 180, and we need to scale you in. So we're gonna scale you all the way and all the way up. And all the way in. There we go. And last one and again if I push it a little bit behind the door now we need to scale it up let's see how we look so scale and There we go. So we look around, looks like you can walk down any one of these hallways. You got a nice little lantern over there. You got that, we're gonna have a fruit basket there. And then we're gonna add some art to the walls. It's just like we did these. We could play again with some of these prefabs from our Zen garden. So, I like this little rake. Go ahead and let's scale it down though. Rake's not that big. I put that over here. What else do we got? We have a big rock bowl. I might put that right here. That might have some of the fruit. I could put some fire inside of there. Uh, I got something in every corner. Yeah, that'll work. So you will actually will go in this corner. Let's move our rake somewhere else. So the rake will be against the wall. We'll rotate it that way. So let's kind of buy a rock garden. There we go. Actually, let's rotate it that way to face our garden. So we got this, we're gonna add a couple pictures and we're done with our design. Again, you feel free to play with this, add your creativity, follow the assignment on the class page, but this is the basics of what we need to get our stuff going. And kind of like I told you, we this is kind of a guide, we're gonna delete this at the end. So in our fruit 
basket over here, we need some fruit. That's why we have this fruit pack. And let's just add a couple fruit in here. Now, something with the fruit, they are really small. So we're gonna update this. We can actually scale these up. And you can see it gets once All right, so we got our basket. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll call this fruit basket. And we got this basket we're gonna put in there. Now we need to go ahead and add some fruit. So, where is that apple? Apple is right way over here. But we wanna move that apple to where it's supposed to be. on up apple so you can see that apple looks really small so what we're going to do is we can update that as well let's make it two by two by two that seems pretty decent to me and let's duplicate this a couple times just move these around let's add in a pair Let's just add in a pair here. And again, we're going to duplicate this two by two by two. Say pair, let's make it three by three by three. There we go. And again, let's drag this into our fruit basket. And let's duplicate that a couple times. Just got a nice little basket here. Obviously, we want some bananas, right? Again, let's make bananas three by three by three. Again, let's drag that up. Nice little fruit basket we got here going. We got some strawberries. Let's make those four by four by four. These are some really nice strawberries, right? And you're just playing. So this is my little basket, we got apples, we got that. Let's get some kiwi in there. That works. Three by three by three. And there you go. Again, so you're just kind of playing with it, making it. So when we look from over there, you got a nice little fruit basket. All right. So what else do we got? We got our little garden over here. We could put some fire in there. Let's do some pictures. And I think we're gonna call that. So we're gonna shoot from here. All right. I think we're gonna shoot from here. So we can have the doors on all three sides. So I'm gonna rotate my table. And that's a nice thing about making these empty objects is now that they're all together and grouped, I can just rotate my table whatever way I want. So we're doing it negative 90 and that looks good to me. So if we're doing that here, I need some text. Go ahead and make another empty, call it game text. And inside of here, I'm just gonna do 3D text. And let's see, where is my text? It is right there, which is backwards. So we're gonna have to rotate that 180. 80, there we go. Pull this up into our room. And what I want to do is I want to up the size. So the font size, let's make it, let's say 72. 
And now I can scale this thing all the way down. You can see it's sharp, very sharp, but once you scale it down, you'll lose some of that. That's why we make this font size a lot better. All right, so we've got our Hello World. And Hello World, we're going back to the wall. So I'm going to say, I'm going to put the timer right here. So this text will be timer text. And this will say timer, let's say 30.0. So we got 30 seconds. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. Move that over here. And I'll say, let's rotate that actually. This will be your score text. And say score and zero. Actually, I like it there, so that means I'm going to move you again. And let's just move you right here. Yeah, let's figure out how. You'll be right next to the uh, mirror. Let's bring you here. Let's rotate you back. So you're going to be here, like that. Actually, we can just put you on the floor. And scale you down. And there you go. And you could be sitting like that over there. On the wall. Actually, I want to scale you up so you're sitting like that on the wall. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Our fruit looks like it's jumping out, so we don't really want that to we want it to sit like it's fruit in the basket. All right, so we got our timer. We got that. Timer text we're gonna put over here. Obviously, for everything that you do in class, you wanna put your name somewhere. I'm gonna put the school, so let's do, we'll do some pictures back there. We'll do some pictures up here. Well, let's just duplicate the duplicate this one more time. And this is going to be created by, and this is your name and period. Let's say period eight, right? And this one I want to center it. And I'll put, let's rotate this so it's on 270. And we'll put that against this wall. There we go. All right, so we've got our text, all the text that we need, score. Let's put some posters on the wall and we will call this a day. Put some posters on the wall. Let's see. For this wall, I'm just going to duplicate this guy. And we can scale you down. And over here, let's see what poster I want to do. Go to those images that I saved earlier, 
And let's do this nice one here. Actually, I like that one a lot. So I want to see that one. Let's do this one. All right. This poster. And just like I said, staying organized. I'm going to make a posters. Empty object. Posters. And this one I'm going to move to posters. All right. There we go. And let's duplicate you as well. And just move you over here. And that's that. So maybe let's do this one. Before we do that one, I want to scale it out there. I want to make it nice and yeah, like that. So there we go. We can do the same thing with this. We can scale this out a little bit, right? All right. Give us some space for the door. Now let's add some posters over here. So we're gonna see the stuff. So I'm gonna duplicate you, and let's move you to posters as well. And. So this is going to be my Fruit Ninja poster. So not you. Let's move you out of the way. And here we go. My Fruit Ninja poster. And let's scale you so you look. Let's move you over. Right above the score. There we go. Fruit Ninja. I can move that score like that. And I can move my little door over a little bit more. That way I can play with my Fruit Ninja. Make it a little bit bigger. This way. Yeah, there we go. And what else do I got? All right, so this score, we're going to move that so it's underneath. And let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's make it 120. There we go. All right, so, so far, so good. We got our little door. We're looking around, we got some pictures going on. We got our score. We got our table. We got our timer. I want to put here. And just like we did this over here, let's just duplicate it and. Bring that right on that side. Now let's do a picture of cherry blossoms that I liked. There we go. And I'm going to do one picture right there. And again, you can see how you could very simply create this. And we can put some picture frames around that, make it really, really cool. But again, use your creativity. So let's do one last picture, and that's going to be this guy. I'm going to duplicate you. I'm going to move you to posters. Let's move you over here underneath. This room keeps getting moved everywhere around. It's moving everywhere. I'm just moving it out the way. So this guy here is going to be my Fruit Ninja guy, which I don't have right now. So let's go find him. Image. And we got Fruit Ninja Old Man. All right, let's go back here. 
Fruit Ninja, oh man. And there we go. Now we gotta, you know, scale this up some. But there we have our Fruit Ninja, oh man. Alright, so kind of liking what I'm seeing. And there we go. So really cool. We kind of playing with some stuff. Now, other things. This is Fruit Ninja. Remember we have some more that you can do. We have inside of our Japanese um, you could play with these. For example, I could frame out the walls like this. That way it could have a picture. This could look like a picture frame if I drag this down here. And again, you can play with a bunch of these things. But we also have All these should go inside of my fruit basket. So ladies, kiwi, fruit basket, there we go. All right, so everything's still kind of organized for me. The posters as well. Last thing I'm gonna add, let's add some swords into our room, All right? Create empty, swords. And we have the seven swords and you can see we have prefabs, and let's just drag some swords around, right? We can just put them where we want. I have one here, on the wall. I have another one over here. And we could just play with these, right? I have that. Move my timer a little bit up so I can get a sword, maybe another sword like this one. Like that, right? And then I could, you know, rotate it however I want. So again, feel free to play and design this as you feel. At the end of it, you will have a very cool kind of 3D world. The next video, we will get to coding. We're gonna code the fruit to actually shoot from the table. And then finally, we will code our sword to cut the fruit in half. Um, for the creativity project, again, customize this add as much as you want. You might want to come here and look for some fire assets. You can add fire inside of here. Again, you want to do free assets. We're not trying to, you can see these or this, and you can filter your results to show you only the free ones. Because again, you can see free, free. Some people charge, but we want free stuff. So again, Go ahead, I'll leave you to your creativity project. Go ahead and pretty much deck out your room. You could put a dragon on the top of the walls. And remember at the very end of this, our building, we're actually going to hide. So if I got rid of that, this is going to be kind of our area. And outside of this area, we could have mountains and all these things that you've learned previously. All right, so go ahead and Go to the next video.